Hello everybody, Fixer here. I am very excited to bring you a game called Virginia, developed by Variable State, published by 505 Games. I just learned about it today from 50 Games Twitter, and I went to Steam and I saw that they had, well I didn't originally see, see that they had a demo, but second glance I saw that Steam has a demo available for this game, which releases on September 22nd. You can get the demo now, so if you want to try it for yourself, go over to Steam, and on the right... Uh, there is a demo page, but it doesn't work. However, you look at the games store, on the right there's a button that says download demo. You can get it there. So I did that, and I actually played about eight minutes of the game, and I had a bug, and I couldn't continue. So I got to restart from the beginning. So so here we are. Um, just to give you a quick rundown of what this game is, um, it, it tells you, that in 1992, George Bush and Boris Yeltsin ended the Cold War. Barcelona held the Olympics. Johnny Carson had his last show. And this kid named Lucas was last seen in his bedroom in, the, in a city called Kingdom, Virginia. And the trailer suggests that it's inspired by Twin Peaks. And after playing the game a little bit and, and looking at the art style, it feels you can feel the Twin Peaks um, inspiration. Uh, but you can also feel... Um, a lot of Kentucky Route Zero and Firewatch and The Vanishing of Ethan Carter in this game. So those three games, you know, hit a strong point with me because I loved all three of those games. And so it sounds like a perfect game to LP for me. And um, I guess we can restart this from the beginning. Hopefully I don't have the same game-ending bug. Lucas Fairfax is missing. This is the father of Mr. Lucas Fairfax, and I am with the FBI. Let us in. Hello. All right. Can I go outside? I didn't try that before. No. So, there, none of these guys are, are talking. I mean, you see them making motions, and, and you can see them talking, but there's no audio. I don't know if that is the style choice of the game, or if it just hasn't been added yet, um, or if my game's just bugged. I don't know. There's Lucas there. So as you can see through this here, Lucas wasn't terribly young. Um, I don't know how old he is, but judging from what I saw, my guess would be maybe 14-ish, 15, 16, something like that. But I could be wrong. So anyways, these guys, they don't talk to you. And this, this totally looks Twin Peaks-esque, doesn't it? These guys. Um, so... In this game, you have your, your cross here in the middle there, the little round dots. And when you get close, or when you're looking at an object that you can interact with, it'll turn into a circle. And then when you can actually interact with it, it turns into a diamond. And I didn't really look around a whole lot the first time I checked this out. But I, I guess it makes sense that you can't really interact with anything in the kitchen. All right, so it, it seems like he, they live in, in a, a decent place. There are two beds in here. I didn't look in here the first time I played this. See how it turns into a circle and then a diamond? ACC Anderson Community College. Computer Science. Um, Edith Fairfax. Signature of applicant Edith. So I'm guessing this is the mother. Yeah, 1948 is the date of birth, February 29th, leap year. New student. So she um, applied, or was going to apply to uh, college. And you notice they have separate beds. I, I'm guessing it's because he is, um, I don't know if he's a, a priest or a pastor or a minister. No idea. But I'm guessing that's why they got separate beds. Or is the Bible. Nothing else I can interact with here. Okay. We got a feather on the ground. I like how I mishandle evidence like this. This is fantastic. And as you can see, she's got some painted nails. So either um, it's a guy that loves to paint their nails, or this is a female that we are playing. Nothing to interact with. Okay. 
Now, I know the, the story progresses when I go into Lucas's room, so I never really checked this thing out over here. Let's do that. Alright, well, never mind then. Let's go into Lucas's room then. And you can see this here. Very Firewatch-esque, isn't it? Totally. So we got Lucas's room here. Got a backpack. No computer, mind you. Just a regular desk. It's a little dark. I wish I could turn on the lights. Don't think you can. He's into photography. He's got a camera. I do love the aesthetic in this type of game. I love this. I don't care if this is minimal minimalistic. This has got a little bit more detail than a game like Firewatch or or Kentucky Route Zero. But it's still, I, I guess I would still consider this minimalism. I don't know. What do I know about this kind of thing? So we got a closet here. I can't go in, but I can move these things here. Oh, hello. Then he's got a little secret passage in here. Let's go on in. So it looks like um, this is some kind of dark room, right? That he that he um, does his photography in. So that's him and his mom. And I wish there was a way to zoom as well. There isn't a way to like focus or zoom. All you got is moving around. So you got a water tower, and then you have this here. Looks like there's two guys. I think this is a guy right here. This is a guy. This may or may not be a guy. I can't tell. I think those are sideburns, so I'm going to guess it's a guy. So he's... Um, and it looks like some kind of surveillance, right? They don't know they're being photographed. So he's he's following somebody. And I can't get a good look at what this is. It's a creek of some kind. Can't really tell much other than that. I mean, there's a person in it, but I can't see much about them. But this just tells me he's got a dark room. And he likes to play the guitar. And he has some kind of book with his name on it. Let's get a move on. Hello? Yep, watch the road, please. Buffalo. Strange. Yeah, I saw it too. Don't worry about it. Too funny. Um. Can I interact with anything? I don't think so. It's very pretty. I love the aesthetic. This is my kind of thing, man. I dig it. Um, I do. If I can get my hands on the game when it releases, I would very much like to to do a series on this. Um, give me a soda and like a hot dog or something. That's actually gross. Never mind. Let's snoop around her car, I guess. I didn't do that. She automatically did that. She is in me. I like how the claw machine is outside. That seems rather weird. Big Rico's. Pizza sounds good, doesn't it? The Michael Dukakis pizza. I guess I should tell you the the kind of um, time that we're in. Um, meat lover, Philly cheesesteak, white quiche. Typical stuff. Although this stuff wasn't exactly popular back then. Meat lover was. But I don't remember Philly cheesesteak being a popular option um, back in the 90s. Um, barbecue pizza. Man... Again, that's not something that was popular back then, but but nowadays there's there's two different kinds of barbecue pizza, and I'm gonna just thrust this on you guys, and and some people it's just like having barbecue chicken or barbecue sausage on top of the pizza, but down here in Texas, they replace the pizza sauce with barbecue sauce, and that's what they call a barbecue pizza. Then they'll put some chicken on it as well or whatever, but usually the sauce is replaced, and holy cow, it's delicious. Sounds weird, I know, but it's delicious. Trust me. I don't see anybody in there. 
Maria Helperin. Uh, Washington, D.C. Okay. Maria Ortega. Yeah. Sounds like an issue. I've had my identity stolen like that before from them getting confused. What do you want? Nope, I gave it at the office. Well, screw you too! It's a bunch of shit. Damn kids. Oh, well hello, we're driving again. Sup? <laughs> we ran over a buffalo. Yeah, don't look at me like that. That's her. So it feels like we got a profile on her. On my partner, whoever's driving. Tuesday! Okay. Did we have something like that before? Did it say Monday before? I don't remember. It was a very, this is where the game bugged out, by the way. In fact, I'll show you right here what, what happened when the game bugged out on me. Oh! Alright. I'll, I'll be right back! <laughs> I just fell through the world! Alright. Enough about that. Let's play. And hopefully I don't fall through it again. Visit the Cannon Observatory. So this is very Ethan Carter-esque in that an Ethan Carter kid goes missing and he liked space. This looks like a cave he went in. And look at that. Oh, am I the other agent now? It feels like I'm the other agent now. Or I just appeared in front of this girl. <gasps> no, I feel I think I'm sleeping? Am I am I having like an out-of-body experience? Are her eyes open? I don't think they are. I think we're having an out-of-body experience. Oh, this is amazing. I've always wanted to have one of these. I want to zoom in. I can't zoom in. The the writing's too blurry to read. That's unfortunate. Shirts and things. Radiator. Can't open the door. What can I do? Is this, this doesn't look like a hotel. These are pretty big windows. Um, there's my jacket. Is that the same one? <laughs> the buttons are a little off. Okay. What do I got to do then? If I can't interact with anything. Do I leave? I guess I do. Oh. Petitive hammering. Alright, so these guys are getting their order taken. This is really strange. All right, that door's scary over there. What are these guys... What are they doing? What is... Hey, don't look at me like that. Very strange. Anything different? So that's Susan. Okay, I don't know if that means anything. So this is the actual mom, right? So who is who is she then? And who are they? Is this? I don't think this is the actual son, is it? Or is that the dad? I can't tell. That's not the dad. That's the the redheaded priest. What am I talking about? All right, let's go check this again. All right, nothing in there. Bible's still there. I don't think I'm supposed to do anything in here. All right, let's check the the guy hammering in the red door. Oh, it's the dad. You th don't think that's a little excessive, dad? I'm not sure that's the right spot to be hammering. I mean, you think you'd be going into the frame, right?
All right, let's do this. Oh, wow, that's a bright red. Engine goes up a gear. That's a very strange subtitle. Oh, you've changed. Watch the road, yeah. Okay. I'm up. Oh, well... Hello. Just leave the money on the table and get the hell out of here. Ooh. Okay. Let's do this. Uh, what? Oh. You look important. Oh, well, there we go. Halperin. Alright, so I'm guessing I am Halperin, or the girl I was with is Halperin. I got a shadow. Sweet. All right, I guess we're going in here then. If I'm knocking, then I'm not Halperin. Can I close the door or we're just gonna leave that open? Ooh, it's dark in here. Where are you Halperin? I don't think it's me. I wouldn't be knocking at my own door. Anything exciting, guys? She played basketball. She likes science. She has binders. I can't crouch or anything. I can't sit. I can't interact with anything. There's nothing in here. All right, well, if there's nothing in here, then let's go around the corner. I can't run either. It's a little slow going. It is a weird spot for an office. Is there a body in here? No. You were thinking it too. Don't judge me. Okay. What? So I'm guessing I go back the other way and things are going to change, right? That's my guess. If I can't go through that door, I'm going to turn the corner and it's going to be different. Survey says no. Maybe this corner then. There's nothing to interact with. Alright, so this all looks the same. What's this? Do I cut the power? No. So what do I do? I I'm, I'm looking for the cursor to change. Oh, did you see that? I saw it. Oh, wait, was this here before? I don't know if this was here before. It shows how much I pay attention. All right. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to poke around your things. Don't look at me like that. Ooh, she's upset. There I'm sorry. Uh, do you want me to sit? Is that what you're trying to tell me to do? I wonder if she does anything if I just spend a lot of time in here. You know... All this work you have on the wall, it's blank. Maybe you should... This photo is blank. Fine. I can't do anything to you. Okay. You can close the door now. You don't need to watch me walk away. Oh, you're coming with me. All right. 
the subtitle... See, when the game said that, that I can turn on subtitles, I thought that there would be talking. I didn't realize it would be, like, sound effects. I really don't need those. They're starting to annoy me. Let's turn that off. Um, yeah, we don't need that. Um, any in-game text will display a subtitled translation. I don't know what that is. I guess let's turn it on. We'll find out what that is. And resume demo. Thank you. Can I move? Why am I over here on the rocks? I don't remember. What is the Steam button for screenshots? I don't remember. I thought it was F10. Yeah, see, this environment's very Firewatch, isn't it? Where are we? Warning, U.S. Air Force installation. It is unlawful to enter this area without permission of the installation commander, etc. Use of deadly force authorized. Jesus Christ. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where did that girl go? I feel like I'm hallucinating. There's a car up there. What the hell's going on? Yep, and I did it again. I'm not sure. I think it's F10 that is changing the... My, my screen from full screen to windowed. That shouldn't be in the game. That's kind of strange. Take me back. Quicker, please. Is there a cave over here? Is this where she went? Um, I'm not so sure this is a good idea. If Brian Goodman is down here, what the hell? What is this place? Oh, a hat. Do I get to put on the hat? Even though there's absolutely nothing on it? I'll just steal that. Thank you. Anything else I can loot? We got some kind of cigarettes and I can't tell what that is. Beer cans. Okay. I hear that. Really strange, isn't it? My stomach is growling like mad, too. You could probably hear it. Alright. Well, I hear mice or something. Or a bird? That's a bird. Are you going to just sit there and... Is that a cardinal? Yeah, it is. Oh, you're just... Okay. You don't find this strange at all? Don't look at me like that again. Yeah, that's what happens in caves. Yep. Yeah. <gasps> oh, shit. <gasps> the bird is squished. Okay, I don't know what just happened. Is that the end? A striking painterly art style steeped in the magic of small town America. See, I can't tell if this is kind of... I can't tell if this is mythic folk fiction type stuff or is this magical realism like Kentucky Route Zero. And, and the difference... I mean, they have a lot of overlap, but the difference is with magical realism, you... The people don't see what's going on, like a buffalo crossing the road or the buffalo being in the house or whatever. Although that was a dream, so that doesn't exactly count. They don't see the weird things going on as weird. They just see it as par for the course. That's normal. 
So it's it's hard to tell which one this is going to be. It says a dreamlike journey punctuated by intense drama and populated by a memorable cast of curious characters. An original detective noir story and the tradition of Twin Peaks, Fargo, and True Detective. I love all three of those shows. And I was completely against having a Fargo TV show. What a horrible idea that was. Horrible idea. I watched it and I freaking loved it. It is one of the best TV shows I've ever seen. And it doesn't make any sense that you can make a great TV show based off a great movie like Fargo. Doesn't make any sense. Um, True Detective, I thought the first one was fantastic. Second one, not so much. And of course, Twin Peaks, I think, is absolutely fantastic. Cinematic editing editing that immerses players in a story told in the style of film and TV. I want to continue, but my mouse isn't working. Okay. That just takes me back here. Well, there you go. That's Virginia. Um, I was hoping the demo would be a little bit longer. Um, but, hey, it's a demo. It got me interested in the game, and that's what it's supposed to do, right? Um, September 22nd. I am very much hopeful that I can get this LP up um, when it comes out. Uh, I'm very excited. My kind of thing. So, thanks for watching, guys. We're going to see you next time. Bye-bye.